Hello, everybody. This is the one and only Mr. LP, Steven Sykes of Live and Global Media, sponsored by Travala Studios. And we're here in Silver Springs, Maryland at the Civic Center for uh, Dominic Lund's The Hair Guru Magazine release party and celebrating Reggie and so many funds. And I have the lovely Jacqueline Douglas. Ms. Douglas, how are you doing today? I'm great, thank you. How about yourself? I'm having fun. We're having a little hot. There's a Caribbean festival. We got some music inside. We're just doing a whole bunch of things. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Um, it's going to be an exciting party tonight for the release of the magazine. We got some hot styles tonight. We got some good vendors. It's just going to be an all good experience tonight. And are you going to be in that magazine this time? No, I'm not going to be in a magazine this time. <laughs> no, no, we're going to know no, that. No, no, no. But uh, I appreciate you in advance. Yes. Like, so, uh, as a young black woman here, uh, and we're going to highlight the word young. <laughs> How does it feel uh, being involved in all this culture and seeing everybody getting involved? Oh, it's a, it's a great experience. This is time to level up, you know, get out the box, do different things, and experience different things, and network with people to, to ne go to that next level. So this is the type of event that you want to come to to get experience and get exposure to go to that next level. Amen. Yes. And so what do you do in this area? I know you're at the bank counting, getting that loan and all these other money and things. What do you do around here? Well, I'm actually I'm in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I have a hair salon called Mark Anthony Revelations Beauty Salon. Oh wow! Right. I'm known as the Color Diva. That is my specialty. So, here tonight I have my books and magazines that I authored. Um, that you know, and I'm helping out with Floyd Kenyatta as well with the Global Academy. Beautiful. Now, uh, where is it in Philadelphia? What's the street address? We're going to get it all. Um, it's, in, it's called Mark Anthony Revelations Beauty Salon. It's in Upper Darby, Pennsylvania, 6417 Market Street. Mm. And what's the website, phone number, how people can follow and contact you? The website is the website is markanthonysbeauty.com. And um, the email is info at markanthonysbeauty.com. Ms. Douglas, I thank you very much for your time and thank you for all your help earlier and thank I appreciate you. So you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, everybody. This is one and only Mr. LP, Steven Sykes. I'm here with Dominic Lund, the Hair Guru Magazine release party. And we're here in Silver Springs, Maryland at the Civic Center. And I had a lovely Tiffany and Wink, and I'm known officially Tiffany Hilton, but my business is Tiffany and Wink Luxury Lash Line. Tiffany and Wink. And Wink. Okay, ah, so yeah, we're going to get the Wink in and then. I'm supposed to link with the left eye right, or the left eye. Well, it doesn't matter as long as that eye has the lashes to go with it, okay. then you are good to go. See, I, I, see, I, I can't wear no lashes now. So what, what are we supposed to do? So for me, I actually, for the men, I don't have anything for you guys quite that. yet, okay. but I'm looking into okay. maybe some growth serum. Okay. Because well, I know men that also want the beautiful lashes because hey, they want hey, to hey. be looking at the females hey, very seductive. Hey, it works whenever it works. It exactly. So what got you involved in this? So actually, I was on social media, and that's how great social media is. And I happened to come across a uh, Reggie Wells, his page, and he posted a flyer about it. And they said that any sponsors and vendors that may be interested, you know, to call a number. I followed up with it three days prior to the event, and there we go. I'm here now. Oh gosh! And what of all the businesses out there, we see a lot of women, especially black women, getting involved in a lot of great things. Well, of all businesses, what got you decided to do eyelashes? So I actually used to be a model full time, you still and model. I used to. Never, you never stop. Oh, well, thank that's you. A, that's the job. Come on now. Older now, but however. No, 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 you look very well for 27. <laughs> oh, thank you, 29. No. But, <laughs> but needless to say, um, with my kid, I always used to have lashes. So if I couldn't do have an MUA to do my makeup. I actually would carry lashes in my kit so I would be able to apply the lashes directly on my lash line and they'll pop in every shot. Oh, there you go. There you go. So now, how can people uh, find you and get involved and then get involved with the lashes? And sure. So I'm actually located in the National Harbor area. Um, and to get a hold of me, I do most of my jabbing on uh, Instagram. On Instagram, Tiffany, T-I-F-F-A-N-I, underscore N, underscore Wink. W I N K T I F F A N I. Oh, that, that's a that's a different one. Yes, it is. Okay. But that's where I do most of my connections. Also, I have a website, and you can reach me at www.tiffanynwink.com. Right now, I have a good question to ask you. Also, with a lot of women getting involved in business and uh, STEM and everything else, what's the one thing that you could tell your since you're 29? What's the one thing that you could tell your 18 year old self? Um, you know, 10 years ago. Um, I would definitely say to chase your dreams and your dreams are valid. I feel like 18 is a very, is a, it's a trying time where you're influenced a lot about, about, you know, you're influenced by your peers 
and people saying, oh, no, you can't really do that, you know. But to know that your dreams are truly valid and that if you put the work in and you have the right frame of mind, and the right influences, a lot can happen. It's very important to build a team around you. Absolutely, you're only as good as your team. And I'm so thankful, even the lovely lady I have recording me now. Hey. <laughs> she's always supporting me and she's my biggest cheerleader. So for that, What's her I'm name? Thankful. We gotta shout her out. Absolutely, her Car name is Carmen. Carmen, Carmen, what's your last name? Carmen San Diego? <laughs> there's Carmen, Carmen. Okay. Brand is Carmen. Car Brand is Carmen, okay, we're gonna make sure Yes, absolutely, definitely. Well, I thank you so very much for coming out, and we are say is a Tiffany and Wink, you know. Yes. So we're gonna zoom it in and things. <laughs> so I appreciate you for coming out. Thank you. No problem. You have a blessed day. Hello, everybody. This is the one and only Mr. LP Stephen Sykes of Alive and Global Media, and we're here at Hair in Motion the Magazine Release Party in Silver Springs, Maryland, at the Civic Center, and I have the beautiful and lovely. Michelle Davis from Style to the Isle Magazine. Oh, say that magazine one more time. Style to the Isle Magazine. Style to the Isle Magazine. Yes. Oh, I'm going to have to get me a copy of that <laughs> and everything. So uh, how did you get inside and get involved? I'm um, sorry, get inside the whole magazine world and get involved? Well, I actually originally was an event planner. Mm -hmm. so you I just, still are. That never stops. Yes, it, it, it never stops. Um, so, and I started doing my own bridal fashion events, so it just kind of snowballed into a magazine. Awesome. Now, what now we see a lot of magazines and a lot of professional women and men get involved in ma the magazine world. What is the difference with your magazine versus everybody else? Well, we are not your traditional bridal publication. We are more fashion forward, so we are solely focused on the fashion and beauty and lifestyle of a wedding. So we don't do any of the planning phase. We solely focus on what brides really, really love, which is the fashion and the beauty. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah. And then capturing the memory and the importance and everything else. Yeah. Now, what about the uh, gentleman that's getting married, the groom? What about him? Of course, he, he has to be stylish too. Okay, I was about to say, <laughs> you can't leave us out. Because the woman get put all that time and effort and he comes up looking like, you know. It's a package deal, it's a package deal. Oh, there you go, there you go. <laughs> now, how long you been getting involved in all of this? So I've actually been in the wedding industry for about 14 years. Woo! Yes. You got some stories. I, I do. But I actually just um, became friends with Dominic from Hair Emotions. And you know, it's all about community versus competition. And networking. Yes. So, you know, we're Facebook friends and you know, he's in New York, I'm here in Maryland. So he was like, sis, can you help me out? And hey. I'm oh, here. we will have to give make some calls and get this happening. <laughs> Okay. Exactly. Now, how can people get in contact with you? So, people can actually reach out to me on our website, which is styletothealmag.com, and all of our social is Style to the Owl. Now, when's the next magazine? October. Am I going to be in it? Are you going to be in it? Yeah, it's like, when's, when's the deadline to my <laughs> submittal? I mean, there's a reason. Um, uh, let's see how people do you. See how people do you. I'll get back we'll to you. Get back okay. to your people are gonna contact my yes, people. Yes. Okay. <laughs> if ninety nine one, maybe the Christmas edition. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Okay, not a problem. I thank you so very much for coming. You're welcome. Yeah. Hello everybody. This is the one and only Mr. LP Steven Sykes of Enlive and Global Media. And we are here with Dominic Lund magazine release party and we're here in beautiful Silver Springs, Maryland at the Civic Center. And I have the lovely Stacy Smoker. Stacy Smoker, how are you doing today? I'm very well, sir. <laughs> and what are you doing here besides being fabulous? Uh, well, first, starting with being fabulous. Um, secondly, uh, I'm lucky enough to be featured in the summer issue okay. of the magazine. Awesome. And in addition, I was lucky enough, uh, with a lot of hard work, um, to be uh, also nominated in the hair color category in the Visionary Awards tonight. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, a few things. <laughs> in other words, you had a lot of uh, sleepless nights. A lot of sleepless nights, a lot of work. Now, what made you decide to get involved in this field with so much competition, so much uh, positive and negative? What's keeping you involved? Well, um, <laughs> I mean, I've been in the industry for 20 years now, mm. and I recently started competing three, four years ago. Okay. Um, and it's breathed new life into mm. my career, truly. Awesome. Um, the competition side of things, while on the outside of things it probably could look like it gets ugly um, is actually one of the more supportive environments I've actually uh, met in this industry 
a lot of really talented people lifting each other up and um, that's what keeps me coming back you know I keep branching out I started with Naha and through that I met all these amazing people so I just keep branching out further and further and uh, that's how I got to meet uh, Dominique Nunn and uh, H&M Media and um, very excited to be here Awesome. Now, how can people get in contact with you, ma'am? Um, well, through uh, Instagram is probably the best way. It's just Stacy underscore Smoker. Like a billion different ways. These very true. I am S T A C E Y underscore S M O K E R, or StacySmoker.com. All right. I take it so very kindly. Congratulations. Thank Good you. luck to you, and may you have you. a blessed day. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Hello, everybody. This is the one and only Mr. LP, Steven Sykes of Live and Global Media, and I'm here in Silver Springs, Maryland for the Hair Guru, and we are here for the magazine release party. And I have the lovely Miss Carmen. We're going to get the last name because she was jumping in the video the other time, but she didn't say anything. So what's your full name, young lady? My full name is Alana Adams, but the business I have is Carmen. That's my brand. That is a very beautiful name. Thank you. My mom, it's all thanks to her. Okay, she, she knew what she was doing. Mm -hmm. Thanks. All right, now, what are you doing around here these days? What got you busy on these days? I actually design clothes. Can you get a head the bottom, too? Oh, yeah, a feet the bottom? Oh, yeah, well, she, she, she wants everything. Yeah, We're going to get, get it all. Like, low down, up. Thank you, baby. There you okay, go. so, you so basically clothes. I design clothes. This isn't really my style. I'm here promoting and supporting my friend and my business partner. So I'm dressed real cleaned up, but I do streetwear designs. I do custom stuff, and I do stuff for men. So oh, okay, so oh, so yeah. you got something for me. Yeah. You got it in the car right yeah. now? I don't have it in the car because it's custom, so I have to make oh, it one okay. of a kind. Okay, so yeah. now if I wanted to come custom, what do I need to bring with me? With my measurements? Just tell you me what your size is. I get an idea of your style, and then I go ahead and I design something custom that fits just your personality. Mm. And no one else will have it, so it'll be a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so I'm a business casual, kind of smooth James yeah. Bond behind okay, the scenes a little okay. bit. Okay, I got some stuff I'm going to release very soon, probably in the next year, mm. that will appeal to more of this simple, casual, chic type of vibe. Okay, <laughs> now what made you design, to get into uh, clothes? clothing designs for all the different things out there? Um, well, I'm naturally an artist and I love fashion. So, I mean, just those two together, I decided to combine them and merge them. And then that's where I got the idea from. Mm. Now, you've been doing this for how long? I've been doing the clothing design for about a year, but I've been an artist all my life and I've been creating things all of my life as so, well. So how many clothes you done cut up at home back in the day as a kid? Um, when I was in high school, we would do a lot of stuff. So yeah, in high school, we did a lot of things. Now, a close up tip too. Cool. Now, what, uh, there's a lot of young women out there trying to find inspiration, trying to get involved. It is a very competitive field. What is something you would tell another young girl who maybe 14, 15 is trying to get involved? Okay, so I would tell my advice to the young women out there is that you have to find your niche, find something that's different, and you need a good network of people to promote your item and your product. Mm. Yeah. What was the, what was the one thing that you had to learn more of, of anything else? Because everybody, when you start getting involved in these things, you learn something more about yourself. What did you have to learn? I learned that um, I have a specific audience that I like to cater to. I prefer to have certain people wear my items. Mm -hmm. I thought I want everyone wearing it, but my items aren't for everybody. No, and I, you want people that's going to respect the clothing, yeah, respect exactly. the craft, and respect the clothing. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Now, how can people get in contact with you? You can get in contact with me. I know it sounds cliche, but I'm on Instagram. Now, you can be on anywhere yeah. you want. So, we are Carmen Brand. That's we are W E A R E. C A R M E N brand B R A N D. We are Carmen Brand. And not only do I design the clothes, I creative direct all my shoots, I select all my models, and I select all my locations. Mm. So when you type in We Are Carmen Brand, you will see everything on there. I was on set for every single shoot. I touched every model. Oh, I know what you mean about yeah. that. I've been doing photography, video, okay. and everything, okay. interviews, dudes. So I know you, it's got to be done the right mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. Now, you said you got somebody to brand dress. Whose dress is this? Um, this is a dress out of my closet. It's vintage, okay. so I, I love vintage items as well. Okay. So it's not really a designer. It's just my own closet, which is Carmen. You strike me a little bit of uh, Victorian as well. Yeah, I like royal type of vibes and very rich and luxury. My friend Tiffany and Week, she's here today promoting her lashes. Hey, Tiffany. She has a luxury line, and you know I try to go for the luxurious look since I'm with her today. Okay. But usually I'm funky and wild. So. Uh oh. Uh oh, <laughs> we're we, we, we gonna say that for the next interview okay. about that. All right, right thank, thank you so you. very much for coming. Thank you. No Hello, everybody. This is the one and only Mr. LP, Steven Sykes of Live and Global Media. We're here at the Hair Guru Dominic Lund's magazine release party. We're here at Silver Springs, Maryland. And I have the lovely Kimberly Slemaker. How you doing, young lady? I'm doing fabulous. I'm excited. Awesome. Now, what are you doing around here these days? 
Um, I teach a lot. I work with Alpha Park USA, and I also own my own solo suite. So, oh my! Yeah, really busy. And I say, so, how does it feel doing the solo suite with everything else going on? I love it, just because you have your you're in control, and there's no drama, and you're creating a great environment for your clients that. It's part of your passion and dream, so it's awesome. really amazing. Yeah. Now, when you, what was the far of all the different things that you can get involved? What made you decide to get involved with that? Um, and with Solo Suites, mm -hmm. to be able to create the environment that I wanted for my clients. There's a lot of salons that um, business and aspects that I'm just not crazy about. So mm -hmm. I wanted again to create an environment that's positive and a safe place and they can have fun and don't feel stressed and they oh. love it they love it because they just feel like it's a different world and they always say they're like I can never imagine going back to another place and, and, and the peacefulness and all the calm yeah exactly so in such a crazy world I want them to be with me and have that outside the door and that way when they're with me they have the whole experience and they can enjoy themselves and you know cry or laugh or whatever they want to do they can be themselves and don't have to worry about with the outside world is, is uh, oh, thinking. That is a very beautiful thing yeah. out there. Now, you being a young lady, you, so you don't have a lot of experience in this, but in a few years that you've been involved in this, uh, what was one thing that you had to learn differently uh, than what you thought of when you got involved in the field with the solo uh, experience and just being a businesswoman, period? Um, so, really, I feel like even though you work for a salon, mm -hmm. you are still your own business owner, right? Mm -hmm. So, the you're, salon your own brand. is still you're having clients or they're bringing clients into you but you are still branding yourself right so it is your job and your business proposal and your personal experience to still continue that customer service mm -hmm. so it's not just about the shampoo help and the front desk it's also about you Amen. and the reason why clients follow you is not because shampoo help or the name it's what you give them so business is 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 not just it's from front it's from excuse me it's from the front desk to the shampoo to our journey, but it's really what we give them. And again, with the Sola, they love that they can book online. Oh. They love they don't have to be on hold for five minutes. Um, I'm really big on giving major massages. You yeah. know, oh, I, I need to come um, over there. I know, right? <laughs> um, so these are things that are very important to people, and it's such a stressful world. You know, touches the is one of the most um, intense five senses, right? So it's very important to give that back to them so that they know that they're, be, they're being taken care of, loved, and and trust you in every way. So, Amen. And within, I've been doing hair for 30 years. Oh so, my gosh, yeah. you don't look that old to be doing that. So I'm sorry. Yeah, no. So, very well for 35. I think, so within those within that journey of me doing hair at different salons and I've seen a lot of things and then also educating so that gave me also an insight to see how other salons run in different areas so you know what to take in and you know what to put out Do you know what I mean so um, it wasn't hard at all if you just really pay attention and pay attention to your environment and what clients tell you which is the key thing to anything you will succeed how can and people, education, continuing how, education. How can people find you, get in contact with you, and find us a lot? Um, so I do a lot on Instagram, Facebook. Um, there's a jewelry store next to me. So I'm like a pouncer. So the business, when um, the center opened up, I went next to the jewelry store. And I was like, hi, my name is Kim. And I became friends. And they're like, oh, you look fabulous. So they started coming over to the salon. So, you know, you start in a small area, and then you start working your way up, right, going to bars and say hey I'll do a free blow dry for you and there you, so go. you really get yourself out there because a business card alone right if you give me a business card does not work no it is how you represent yourself it is hey follow me it's also giving them the personal um, uh, the personal appearance and also the way you talk and that creates that bond and that trust and like okay I'm I think I'm gonna try her she sounds like she knows what she's doing very much now what is uh, your ID on Instagram and Facebook it's Kim Slemaker. Um, you got to spell that for everybody. I'm sorry. It's K I M S L E M A K E R, and that's Instagram. And then um, I believe the same thing on uh, Facebook. It's the same one. Thank you so very much, and please thank enjoy you. the evening. I will. Thank you. Bye, -bye. Bye, guys. Hello, everybody. This is the one and only Mr. LP, Stephen Sykes of Live and Global Media.
And we're here at uh, the Silver Springs Civic Center for Dominic Lund's Hair in Motion magazine release and party and fun and everything else. And I have two beautiful ladies with me, and they are? Niambi. Niambi? Yeah. And? Tammy. Tammy, how are y'all ladies doing today? Fine of yourself. All right. Now, what are y'all doing during do the daytime? What y'all are enterprising young entrepreneurial women? What are y'all doing? I'm working. Hmm? Working. Oh, and what type of business are you in? Oh, no, I'm an administrative coordinator at Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. Go ahead, young lady. All right, mm -hmm. so I know if I need some help, I know who to go to. Yes, sir. Can I get a discount on some health care? You sure can. There you go. Doggone, got that on camera. And you? <laughs> uh, I'm a sound language interpreter for the ARC. Oh, ASL lady. Yes, I am. Oh, Love God, you. There you go. My sign language days is over at Speech Pathology. I can't do that no more. How do you keep up with it every day? <laughs> Just um, a lot of trainings and going back and forth to different courses and stuff at Gallaudet University. Oh, Jesus. Now, how do you feel? This? How, how do you say you are stupid in sign language? <laughs> you dumb. No, there you go. Because it, cause sometimes you have to do that with people and things they just don't understand, so you just got to give them that language. Now, being a young business woman out here today, and we're here at this function, how does it feel being a businesswoman in 2018? Oh, it feels wonderful. Um, it's all about networking, and um, I just adore women supporting women. Amen. And you? I agree with everything she just you said. Come over here. You're getting too far away. Come on now. I agree with everything she just said. Okay. Now, what made you decide to get involved in the field that you are in now versus all the things that you could do? Well, I've been in the field for 25 years. It started in high school, so I just started there, and I've been at it ever since. I want to know what kind of serum, but y'all keep talking about these 20 years, 25 years. Y'all don't look like Oh, no, uh-uh, we not. 40 and under. Oh, 40 and under, okay. Very good for, uh, you know, 31, 32. A little bit of Dove and Cocoa Butter go a long uh, way. Dove and Cocoa Butter and there's some Ambi and everything else, right? <laughs> All right, no problem. Well, I'll say this for, uh, for a hair show. Y'all ladies can't correct. Our hair looks wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Compliments of L Experience. Oh, okay. Now, where's L Experience? We got to be correct and give them the shot. Um, the L Experience, you can reach her in Towson, Maryland. Okay. In Baltimore County. No problem. And how can people follow you, young ladies? I am Nakavelli, N I K A L L V I 512 Five on Instagram. All right. That's $512 million in your bank account, right? Okay. <laughs> Coming away over here. Come over here. It's a sheep. Uh, 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 so see what you're doing? See, see, you, see you try to be cute and wear them too tight, right? No. no. <laughs> They're hot. They're not too tight. Not okay. at all. You young lady? Um, you can find me underneath a tam underscore creations for you. All right. I thank you ladies so very much. And you get off those feet there. Y'all enjoy yourself this evening. And I'll catch y'all later, all right? Thank, and thank you. you as well. All right. Bye-bye.